What is going on interwebs? We are starting a new series. And sorry about the upload schedule. Still working out the stuff on that. But this is a new series. My voice cracked. <laughs> this is a new series. I, I don't know how often I'll do this series because I don't have access to a whole bunch of multiplayer games. Uh, but we're starting strong on this series with Rainbow Six Siege. And the series is worst gaming communities maybe on Xbox or ever if it's a multi-platform game. This is, however, a multi-platform game. It's on PC, it's on Xbox, it's on PS4. So, what do I mean by worst gaming communities? The games themselves, if they're shit, I'll say they're shit. Rainbow Six Siege is not one of those games where it's just shit. Now, the latency, it can be a bitch sometimes. Uh, as a bonus clip I might throw on the end, you might see an extreme case of latency just being horrible. That or the dude was using invisibility hacks. It wouldn't shock me. I reported him either way. It wouldn't shock me because I've seen invisibility hacks in Modern Warfare 3 on the console, mind you. Uh, but anyway, I reported him nonetheless. I might throw that as a bonus clip on the end. But why, why do I say Rainbow Six Siege is by far one of the absolute worst gaming communities ever well there's team killing there's your team killing the hostage your team killing you uh just your average trolls that join the game don't do dick but kill you your team or the hostage there's <laughs> there's your teammates that blame you for losing the round and then kill you as you're about to see there's a whole bunch of x factors here and it's just, it's not fun. It's the worst gaming community ever. Ever. Now, as you saw there, my friend, Madman Dylan, and don't add him. He's not a people person. If you add him and send him a message, oh, I saw you want to distract his, his videos, he won't talk to you. I'm just being bluntly honest right now. He will not talk to you. He will not want nothing to do with you. He probably will even block you and then report your message to Microsoft. He's not a people person. But, uh... Anyway, as you saw, he was the last person alive that round, and they, the, the, the Pulse on our team figured he lost the match for us because he didn't try. And as you're about to see, Pulse took extreme, extreme prejudice on his execution of what he thought was justice. I don't know even remember why I reported that guy. I just reported him. I'm sure I had a reason. <laughs> but yeah, nothing ever happens to people you report anyway. But wait for it. And there it is. I confirm with Dylan that Pulse just aimed at him in the head and shot him for no reason other than his own. So I take it upon myself to execute the man who killed my friend for no fucking reason. And then Dylan tells me that Castle is chasing me. And then I think Doc is about to draw on me, so I kill Doc. And then I get kicked and banned for two hours due to team killing. Great policy, guys. And as you will see in this next clip, in a hostage extraction terrorist hunt mission, which I have carried many teams with as Glass, they've all died except me, we have a sledge who execute me, who executes me as soon as the match starts. As you can see, he deliberately aims at my face and kills me before I can even do anything. Good job, you fucking idiot. And in this clip, this is a hostage protection terrorist hunt mission. We have a castle that deliberately executes the hostage while the round is going. And there it is. What a fucking asshole. Here we are again at another hostage extraction terrorist hunt, to which the guy who rolled recruit kills the thermite to my left and then immediately kills me. And uh, thinks he can do the whole mission alone because he's that damn good. I don't remember if he did or didn't do it, and honestly, I don't care. It's the fact that he did it to begin with. So. Again, I say, worst fucking community ever. Boy, in this clip, do we ever have a clusterfuck. In this video, we have four dick-sucking pieces of shit who, uh, unknown to me because my controller disconnected, my batteries died, so while I'm changing out my batteries, these four fucking idiots all roll recruit. 
And what happens next when we spawn is just a huge... Just... I, I don't even know. I pick Glass because it's Hostage Extract Terrorist Hunt, which I typically can carry my team to a win with a Glass on Hostage Extraction. But when I replace my batteries, I spawn in, and you can see this recruit trying to get a shot on the back of my head. Yep, there he was. Went around right behind me and tried to execute me. So I run off trying to do my own thing, and then I find out these fucking pieces of shit are following me. I'm thinking, and they shot me. So I'm thinking they're trying to team kill me, so I start killing them. Of course, if I kill two of them, I'm going to get kicked anyway, so they start shooting me. So I t take it upon myself to down this guy who downs me, and then a fucking exploding terrorist comes outside and blows both me and him up, and then these fucking idiots begin to try to kill each other. I, I can't even begin to explain how fucking stupid every single one of these people is. I just can't begin. So the one dude takes it upon himself to try to complete the mission. I don't know if he was in on it from the start. I don't know if they were all in a fucking party together. Honestly, I don't give a flying fuck if they were. They're all fucking idiots. So... <laughs> I think this guy... Yeah, he ends up killing the other recruit. And then he goes inside the building and tries to kill the last recruit. If this is the clip, I'm thinking... Yeah, I think it is. He proceeds to chase... The last guy alive on our team. Literally chasing him through this fucking house to kill him. But he ends up getting shot by a fucking terrorist. You are a credit to the human race. You worthless fucking asshole. And I've said fuck so many times in this video. I'm probably demonetized in the first 20 seconds. Look at this shit. He's literally tracking this dude through this fucking house trying to kill him. Worst fucking community ever. I swear. All friendlies have been eliminated. No shit. And in this clip, we have an asshole that spawns recruit and immediately C4s the hostage. the hostage. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking worthless. I'll give this one credit. At least they didn't spawn recruit to kill the hostage immediately. They spawned a Valkyrie, so I'll give him credits where credits is due. You're still a piece of shit. Okay, so, this is the clip I mentioned earlier about the latency or the dude was using invisibility hacks. Do I think there's invisibility hacks in Rainbow Six Siege? Probably not, but the fact is, I didn't see him, and my friend Dylan didn't see him, and I'm pretty sure the people watching me because I was the only one left alive. There was a guy who was talking. And I'm pretty sure even he said he wasn't there. He wasn't. The guy playing Buck was not there. He was not there. There was no character model. There was nothing. In fact, the bullets... You can see the bullets when they fire. They're coming from the fucking stairs. And on his kill cam, it shows him coming down the stairs right in front of me. Right direct in front of me. And just shooting me in the fucking face. And if I had seen him, I would have fucking killed him. So, either it's latency or invisibility hacks, I don't care which, I reported him either way. Dude, if it was legit, I'm sorry, but I ain't taking no chances. I've dealt with enough shit in this game. Now, to bring it back down for a second. As I said at the start of the video, just because it makes the list of one of the worst gaming communities ever... Whether it be for the Xbox or multi-platform, which this game is multi-platform, it's Xbox, PS4, PC. Even though it makes the list for the worst fucking gaming community ever. One of the worst fucking gaming communities ever. Uh, it is in itself not a terrible game. Rainbow Six Siege is a fucking awesome game. The game itself is amazing. Like another game that's made this list that you will see next week. 
I'm making this a weekly thing. Why? When I can, like I said, I don't have access to a whole bunch of fucking games. But when I can, I will make a video every week, or a week that I can, about the worst gaming communities. Ten seconds to insertion. The game itself is great. I'm fucking love Rainbow Six Siege. The community is cancer. Absolute fucking cancer. Just the worst kind of people. Now, occasionally you get people like these guys who are just cool, mellow, just play the fucking game. Don't get offended at the littlest fucking thing, like if you're trying to shoot a drone with a pistol and you just take off like 10 health of your teammate because you nip their fucking pinky toe. They take huge offense and just gun your ass down immediately when they crossed your line of fire in the first fucking place. So... The community is fucking awful for the most part. There are very seldom people. Well, I won't say for the most part. It's like 60-40. But my luck is I get the minority, which is the worst. The 40. Um, but, <laughs> like I said, just because it makes the list does not mean the game is awful. If the game is awful, I will tell you at the start that the game is awful. Now, in my personal experience... If you're playing Terrorist Hunt and someone spawns Recruit, watch that person immediately. If you're playing a Terrorist Hunt like I was, especially for the achievements, watch that person immediately. If Get eyes on them the second you spawn, because if they pull out that C4, they're either trying to kill you, kill the team, kill the hostage. Put their ass down immediately as soon as you see that four see, see that C4 come into their hands. It's called a nitro cell, but it's C4. Kill them immediately. Same thing goes for a cav. Watch that cav. Because I've experienced people that spawn cav in terrorist hunt defense modes. And and um they take it upon themselves to execute the team. Now, here's the shit I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to isolate this. So, just give me one second. Alright, so. Killed the Thermite. <coughs> with my own Nitro. And then it shows, as you can see, from my perspective, that Buck is not there. You can see, clear as day, there is no Buck there. But on his kill cam, he's there. Full-on non-comporeal physical form. I've edited this cut of it to be a little bit longer to give myself a few more seconds to talk. On my screen. Now, you guys can rewind this. I'm not doing this again, so just rewind it if you want. On my screen, you can clearly see that Buck is not there. There is nothing there. If there was, I would have fucking shot it. He is not there. You can see clear as day. Buck is not there, but on his kill cam, he had come down the stairs and was clear as day in front of me. Did he hack? I don't know. I just reported him. Now, there's going to be a variable shit ton of jump cuts in this fucking video. That's... I can't help that. These are just pieces of a grander scale. These are all things that I caught while I was recording. I have the benefit of recording. While I'm playing, just in case I get that one thing that's, you know, like, oh, well, I totally got to put that up. But I got so many of these fucking things that I just, ha I, ha I had to do. Like, I had been thinking about this for a while because I needed ideas because I don't have the financial ability to go out and get the newest games and put out videos of the newest games, as many of you know. So I, I was just fishing for ideas and I came up with this while dealing with all this shit and having played other games that have fucking trolls out the fucking asshole in them as well. And they will be on this list, believe you me. Now, as I said before, and this is not a bad clip, this is just a good clip that I'm just gonna end this on, or a, not a clip, but a segment. This is a, what a good round was for me, so I'm just gonna throw that in. On a, to end on a high note, so to speak. Um, as I said before, just because a game makes this list on this series, you know, worst fucking gaming communities, whether it be on Xbox or multi-platform, the game has to at least be on Xbox for me to get footage of it. Let's just put it like that. 
because I don't have a PS4 and my PC is garbage. So, just because it makes this list does not mean it's a shitty game. If it's a shitty game, I will tell you at the very beginning of the game. This is not a shitty game by any means. It's the community that shit. Double kill. Don't know how that fucking Blackbeard didn't kill me. But, um... This community is just for the I, I want to say for the most part because it's just my experience that I get people that are awful Not that they play awfully. It's just that they're awful human beings and then they troll and do this shit But they're just cancer <laughs> Kill them immediately vote to kick them immediately no hesitation if they team kill if they kill the hostage Well, if they kill the hostage it's game over. But anyway as I said watch anyone that spawns recruit if you're playing terrorist hunt on like especially on a protection thing just because they spawn recruit does not mean that they're going to kill the hostage they don't kill them immediately but if they make the move you're watching them you're ready i typically have put down a few people that tried to kill the hostage as capcan i've played as capcan and i put them down immediately using his shotgun i just unloaded on them as soon as i saw them throw the nitro Sometimes it didn't work, as you saw in that one clip earlier. Uh, also, watch people playing Cav. Some people play Cav legitimately in terrorist hunt defense, but I have personally experienced a handful of people that have picked Cav and then killed their team using her overpowered bullshit fucking pistol. Now, uh, as for hackers, I know for a fact they're on PC because I've seen videos of hackers on PC. Rainbow Six Siege. Do I think there's hackers on the console version? I personally don't know. Uh, that buck was very suspicious to me. Again, that could have been the latency. But I did not see the motherfucker, even though his kill cam showed him right in front of me. And there's physical footage evidence showing that he was not there. It's not me complaining. He was not fucking there. He was not there i saw nothing but a wall now granted if buck didn't kill me the iq probably would have because she was prone behind the desk but he was not there on my screen again that could be the latency but i reported him anyway dude who played that buck if you see this video or if a friend mentions this video if that was legit i'm sorry i've dealt with too much bullshit to give a flying fuck anymore so i just reported your ass immediately Nothing's probably going to happen to you or me anyway, because let's be honest, Ubisoft doesn't give a fuck. They've got our money. That's all they care about. So, that being said, if that was legit, I personally apologize for reporting you. But, I didn't see you, and on your kill cam, you were there right in front of me, and I should have seen you. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one later. Kill those recruits! To locate the biohazard container. Maybe. Don't don't do it all the time. <laughs>